What's going on, everybody? This is Gangrel the Vampire Warrior. You know what? The holiday season is upon us. You know what? Christmas is even closer than we think. So what we're going to do is we're going to give away. We're going to do a little giveaway here on uh, F&B, Fang and Bang with Gangrel. So we're going to do a little giveaway. We're going to do five. Five things will be given away. We're going to give away five 8 by 10s Five, along with that 8 by 10 you'll get a personal message from me. Uh, we'll tape it here in the studio. I'll send it to you. Also, uh, one of you will get... This here, boom, ah, wrong camera, right? He wants me to put it in this camera. We're gonna get this, it's a, um, I don't know what do you call it, biography, autobiography, whatever, it's my life uh, in here, it's, it's about me. Uh, it's all correct, most of it. Uh, some of the stats are off, um, but I'll sign that and one of you will get that in your package too. So what you gotta do is, uh, as you're watching this video, you gotta subscribe. First of all, you have to be a subscriber, okay? You gotta be a subscriber, so you subscribe. Click that thing, like it, whatever it is, subscribe. Do what you gotta do, but also go down below and you'll see there's a link. You need to click on that too so we can get your email information and your name. So when we see that you're subscribed and you get pulled up, we can get you uh, get you the, the gifts. The gifts, the eight by tens and the cameo. So that's what's going on with that. So blah, right? Blah, blah, blah. Vampire holidays. Ho, ho, ho. Want some? Get some. Big fat man wants some cookies. Ah, but oh, out comes the fangs and out go the lights. So drop off screen here. I'm going to toss this. So don't worry. That's not the one that's going to be signed. I'm going to get a crisp one right out of the box. So how, how's everybody doing here? So we're going to roll on through. Um, that was our gift giveaway. So that's five, right? Make sure you click below and leave your email and your name or you're not going to be able to win. But you got to be subscribed too. you got to subscribe, 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 subscribe. All right. Don't be afraid to share it and get your friends to subscribe too. You know, so uh, why am I struggling saying subscribes, subscribes? Can we spell subscribe, subscribe, subscribe? I don't know. But whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Uh, been doing a lot of running this holiday season. Uh, still out there running and gunning, flying a bit. Um, a health update. I'll give you a quick health update. Oh, by the way, I'm by myself today. I don't know if you noticed that. So I'm dead front and center here. Like, like I feel like I'm being questioned in uh, the uh, lineup, the usual suspects or something. Um, so I got third epidural, which got me standing upright. Uh, it's been a little bit easier to get through some shows. I'm, I've kicked out three, four matches this, this past week alone. So uh, I'm not walking very good, but I am wrestling a little bit better, and I am back in the gym. So yay, yay. Hopefully uh, that works out. Um uh, going to go do some some stem cells. So uh, on the 22nd, Andrew Anderson has hooked me up. I'm heading up to New Jersey, and I'll get you all that information because I'm going to talk about that on here too later on as uh, uh, the process is being done, and I'll film some stuff and get some um, get some stem cells in my back. And if my knee has got anything left, my knee, but I don't think they're going to be able to help my knee, but definitely my back. So that's my health, and that's my update there, and, uh, and I hope everybody else is well out there and uh, Everybody's being positive going into this holiday season, not drinking and driving. I mean, I'm not on here trying to do a PSA or anything like that, but uh, I don't drink and drive, but uh, yesterday I drank a lot, and I got a lot of heat at home, so y'all keep that in mind that there's somebody that loves you, and uh, I got sidetracked and lost some time, and they got worried about me, and uh, I went MIA for about two hours, so uh, please don't stress your loved ones out there. Be kind and uh, c courteous and, and uh, respectful to them. Um, I love Susan. She's, she's still mad at me. Maybe maybe she'll watch this down the road. She won't be mad at me, but she was just worried. She's not even mad. She was just super, super worried. Uh, but so uh, all's good on that. So yeah, respect your loved ones, your families and everything. Be safe out there the holiday season and buckle up. So keeping fingers crossed, I also like to send some uh, well wishes and positive vibes out to Jeff Hardy. Uh, whatever he's going through, I don't know. Um, good, bad, or whatever it may be. Uh, just want to send him some positive vibes. Uh, it was uh, instrumental and... Uh, the brood being very, very successful. It was me, Christian, and Edge versus like Matt and Jeff and uh, <laughs> Michael Hayes too. But then they went on to Matt, uh, Edge and Christian went on to like all the ladder matches with Jeff and Matt, and so it was tremendous. So, um, so I really want to send them some positive vibes and well wishes there. And um, speaking of well wishes and everything, you know, it's the holiday season. I know I keep coming back to it, and uh, I don't know if you guys can write in. I think you can because I read the YouTube comments and stuff. I'm mean, I'm just curious, like, uh, and I know this is probably a debate back and forth all the time. But what is, what is your favorite Christmas movie? What do you consider a Christmas movie? You know, some people might say the Christmas Story. Um, Others might say Gremlins, like me, for say. I'd say Gremlins was a Christmas story. Uh, little Gremlins, man. That's oh, it's like those little micro guys, man. They, they remind me so much. <laughs> we were doing a show. Uh, unfortunately, the show, uh, the, it was uh, sponsored by uh, uh, an exotic club. So 
they wanted to have the little fellas come by, and um, it reminded me of Gremlin so much. I said, listen, man, you can't give them no, no alcohol or uh, no after midnight, man. And they did both. And the, the, those little, the little guys turned into Gremlins. So it was just like, you ever seen Gremlins? And you see when they're tearing the movie theater apart and going around. And So, they, yeah, they were tearing it. It looked like the movie Gremlins, the, the, the micro wrestlers all tearing this strip club apart and chasing the dancers around. And, um, you know, that's, that's certainly... Uh, that that scene itself might not have been a Christmas story with the micro brawlers, but uh Gremlins is good good Christmas story. What else do I like? Die Hard. I think Die Hard's a good Christmas story. And then there's the Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, which I think Susan likes. On a last of the moon fire, like and it's got that uh whatever who is his name James Cag? Who's that dude? Uh, James Cag? I don't know. I'm gonna last of the moon. I'm gonna bring it right down right down here for you. You know uh. That, that's a really good movie. Susan always watches that. So there's a lot of Christmas stories. So if you want to send in your comments too, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know what I don't know how Raymond, the producer, is gonna pick the winners, but uh, you gotta be a subscriber, right? And you gotta click below yeah, and and leave your info on the, and your name and your email and stuff like that below that video or this video uh, to to win. But but it'd be pretty cool if he's going through it and uh, if you guys like. Would, when this it's just so air this is definitely air before that goes up so right Raymond yeah so cool but why don't you send me what you think your favorite Christmas movie is maybe there's something I'm missing I like The Grinch I mean there's so many so many just the Home Alone I <laughs> know Raymond likes Home Alone Home Alone one two or three which one. <laughs> well, the first one, they, they, they go off to Paris and, or France or something and leave them. And speaking of, speaking, yeah, they go off to France and leave them at home and the burglars come to rob it. That's the first one. So the parents are trying to get back from France. But speaking of France, um, it's not much of a Christmas story, but it, that reminds me of when I uh, flew. I, I went over to France to do a show right before Christmas time. And then, um, you know, I thought it, it's one show. You're in and out. They said, I said, yeah, like fly me back the next day quick because it's Christmas and I wanted to get home and everything like that. And then... Uh, it was this big snowstorm in Seattle, and uh, we, I don't even know why they would have landed us in Seattle. We landed in Seattle, but something about the de-icer couldn't come across, so I sat three days, so I spent my Christmas in uh, uh, an airport. Now, I don't know why I'm telling you that story, but it just reminded me when I'm thinking of Home Alone, the first Home Alone, Raymond, when they went to France and left them. You, you've seen them all, right? I think so, yeah. You think so? Well, there's one, two, or three. Wait, there's one or two. One... Two, two, he goes to New York, right? And he ends up, somehow he gets left there and he goes to the uncle's place. It's being remodeled, so it's super scary, but they try to break in. I think that's when they were going to rob a toy store on that one. Is there a three? I think there's a three. All right, so you guys can also correct me on that. Is there one, two, and three Home Alones? But, um, yeah, so Home Alone, I, I think I'll be Home Alone this weekend, so I'm going to probably watch a lot of Christmas movies or this week. Uh, Susan's going on a trip, so I'm going to do a little dude time, sit around the house in my underwear. <laughs> Not so much fanging and banging, just kind of laying. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it, but looking forward to that. I'll probably catch up on some wrestling, so then I'll have some, some something to talk about in wrestling because I come on here and it seems like I, I talk about everything but wrestling. But again, um, speaking of wrestling, this one sent some positive vibes out to... Uh, Jeff Hardy, and I uh, hope you hope you're doing good, my man, and, and, and doing well. So um, I'm going to wrap this one up right here, right now, and uh, tell everybody I'll, I'll see you back. Make sure that you click below. Uh, the, the Leave your email on that, but you got to be a subscriber, right? you got to be a subscriber. We're going to give away five things. It'll be five 8 by 10s It'll be uh, one of these will be in one of those packages, one of these signed right here. It's a comic... Uh, of my life story up to WWE. I should open it up, showed you all the pages, and that would have gave me some more content and time that Raymond's always talking about. But, uh, and we'll do cameos. We'll do five cameos, personal greetings to you, like whatever. So, say it's uh, Jimmy D, we'll be like, What's up, Jimmy D Sausage? Merry Christmas. You won this package. I'm going to sign you 8x10. You'll see me sign it. Boom. Or the comic. And, and whatnot. So uh, we're gonna get that done. So five of you, five of you, it'll be Christmas time. We're gonna do it at Christmas. So whether it's Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, I'm not sure, but it'll be Christmas. Christmas is gonna kind of cover everything. So Christmas and uh, yeah. So do that. Subscribe, 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 and share. Uh, on that note, I hope everybody has a fang and a bang a week and 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 uh, Merry Christmas and talk to you soon.